Well, it is a nice afternoon after starting the morning off with some clouds and definitely on the muggy side. We've cleared out a little bit. We're going to see that humidity level climb over the next couple of days. And then by this weekend, we'll get into some very isolated, very light showers heading our way. This will be the first rain and the only rain this month since the remnants of Delta. So that's how dry we've been right now across the area. Just a few clouds in Elberton and Abbeville and Greenwood. These will dissipate over the next few hours. Take a look out to the coast, though. We do have some scattered showers, especially out toward Hilton Head and Charleston. You can see we've got flood advisories there. This is all because of Hurricane Epsilon, which is a Category 1 hurricane with winds now at 90 miles per hour, but now projected to become a Category 2 as we go into tomorrow and early Friday as it moves over our very near Bermuda and then pulls away and eventually becomes a fish storm. But this is going to be some pretty dangerous winds and rain rain and rip currents for that entire area as we continue to watch this over the next couple of days. But you can see most weather models, in fact, all of them bringing it away from the U.S. Here at home, we are going to enjoy quite a bit of sunshine this afternoon. As we go throughout the day tomorrow, we'll start tomorrow morning off with maybe some patchy, dense fog and some clouds here and there, maybe a couple of sprinkles squeezed out early on. And then as we go throughout the day, we'll notice our clouds increase. Now, Friday, we do have a slight chance of a couple isolated showers or sprinkles really you could see that's mainly in the mountains certainly not enough to interfere with any outdoor plans or cancel any of that but you could see we do have a slight chance of just a few light showers kind of meandering through the area then saturday a cold front comes through it's really more of a cool front this is what's going to give us a little bit better chance for rain some widespread showers but still not everyone gets wet with this system some of it could continue through early sunday before we clear out by the afternoon and get rid of some of that excess humidity humidity that we've been collecting most of this week. In terms of rainfall totals, you could see anything from nothing at all or a few sprinkles, barely measurable, to maybe upwards of a quarter or half an inch of rain by the time it's all said and done. Still not a big rain event, and it should be done by Sunday afternoon. As we go throughout the next several days, temperatures will be in the upper 70s to near 80. Notice our overnight lows. We should be in the 40s this time of year. It is fall after all. But we're going to go back into the 60s, so it's definitely going to be a mild next several days. In fact, that is the outlook for winter, by the way. We are in an El Nino year, and that will continue through early spring of next year. For us, that does mean warmer and drier than average, and that's basically what we have seen so far since fall began.